When you begin, it's always hard to start. It's common that you have high expectations. At first you lose when learning trade dies. But don't give up. Just try to have some patience. Of course you think that game will be so Hello guys, this is Eric Day from ACS Learning Hub. Welcome to my channel. Now we are back here with our US pre hour reading of our chart here. All right. So, right now, what we are going to do with this, uh, for this session, okay, is to, is to read the chart and prepare ourselves for tonight's market. Okay. Tonight, US market. All right, so since uh, we are here already, and what are we going to do here is to start analyzing. Okay, right. So, well, uh, what, what, what am I going to do is that, okay, basically, is to, is to read out the chart so that we have a clearer picture and directions for US market. Okay, all right. So, right now, for Aussie CAD, all right, uh, the Canadian dollar, okay, Canadian dollar will be opening tonight, okay, uh, later on, okay, so likely it should be still be going up for a while, okay, so I'm looking out for some of this uh, resistance level, okay, let's look out for some resistance level, to, for me, to look out for resistance level is always to have a shrink out your chart and I think it's good, okay, because um, that would be easy for us to find out where's the resistance, okay. Alright, so over here we have one resistance here. So very likely, okay, it may start going up until this price. So people who are doing long, okay, I think uh, we still have about 20 over pips to go, then uh, it is still a good chance before it retreats back, okay? Alright, so right now you are already in this support area to do to have a long for Aussie CAD, okay? So I think uh, still good for us, for buyers. As for Aussie Frank, Aussie Frank has uh, been all the way in on this support, been testing for so long and uh, yet it's still <laughs> there <laughs> okay so right now over here the resistance level as you can see very clearly okay one touch here two three and now going to but it's not touching anyway all right so over here okay like i see here we have a chance for it to go short and we have a chance for it to go for a short term gain for selling about 20 over pips before it hits on the support okay all right so Aussie Frank, yes, uh, but Aussie market has closed and Frank is, you know, okay, so probably uh, a bit weak today. So Aussie Frank, if you are doing selling, uh, you have to take extra care. Although we are on the resistance right now, okay, whereby the selling is very highly possible. All right. Okay, so Aussie Yen, how about Aussie Yen? Aussie Yen basically, okay, over here in Aussie Yen, we are looking at the Aussie Yen for a long position, okay, long position. So just now, uh, earlier on for the last four, H4, okay, we have analyzed for the first half of the day uh, in Euro market, okay, so now looking at it, it's, uh, it's still on the long side, buying side, okay, on the north, so heading north and uh, we have some resistance here as well so probably yep look at the resistance level here okay that's one and this may this may hinder your this may hinder your trades okay so take note of it okay we have about 20 over pips to hit for the resistance and 20 over 20 pips for the support okay so just take note about it okay and the next thing to go is that the Aussie Kiwi, Aussie Kiwi, all right, Aussie Kiwi. So you will take a look at this uh, Australia dollar, uh, Australia dollar against this New Zealand dollar. So we are on the long side, okay. So buying is possible, 
So another resistance, a very strong resistance is over here, but there's another one right here. So probably if you are doing for a short term game for selling, well, this may be possible. Okay, this may be possible, but the, take a look at where the support level is very near. So wait for it to break the support. Then you start trading for selling. Then that would be a better one, better choice. Okay. All right, so Aussie dollar, let's go with Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, tentatively, we are looking at, uh, initially, we are looking at it to short, but the last four hours, okay, the last four hours, it has a good support over here, but now it seems like it has stopped uh, on the <laughs> a resistance coming. <laughs> okay, so a resistance coming over here, so I guess uh, probably there will be some retracement back here. Uh, likely for Aussie dollar tomorrow will have a better direction for us to see, for us to tell the direction. Okay, so now tentatively looking at it, it seems like it's a long position. Okay, but it should be buying, but uh, with a lot of retracement here and there, a lot of uh, resistance around this area as well. So no, I guess uh, this probably may not be ideal. Okay. So Euro Aussie, Euro Aussie, okay, Euro Aussie is heading, all right, Euro Aussie is heading north. So right now, if you're looking at this part here, okay, let's see. I would say, wow, it looks like it's, this is a high, lower high. So probably it may have a chance to short it back, okay, probably lower high but uh, it depends if you have uh, whether this resistance is strong enough if not i guess another resistance around this area yeah i think it will be around this area so buying is still possible now okay 30 pips versus another 25 pips of space to the support okay so yeah almost there okay so Euro Aussie, uh, I would say that uh, if we are looking for a long position, we still have a good space. Okay, we still have a good space. Okay, so Euro CAD. Now Euro CAD. Okay, Euro CAD over here. Let's take a look. Euro CAD. As it moves for the past four hours, okay, it has been supported. It has been supported, and uh, we are looking at buying. Okay, for Euro CAD, it's still on the buying side. So over here. As you can see, the resistance over here, right here, all right, is about here. Yeah, it's around here. You see the whole area, okay, the whole area. So the we still have about oh about nineteen pips or twenty pips to go before it hits on the resistance. They may have some retracement down, okay. So probably so it's a good, it's still a good chance, okay. It's still we still have a good chance for that, okay. All right. So now Euro Pound, Euro Pound. Well, 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 Euro Pound. Let's take a look at Euro Pound. What do we have here? Euro Pound. Uh, we are still looking for a short position, but now after past twelve hours, it has been supported and going up during these uh, twelve or the past twelve hours. So. We are still, well, I'm still looking at this uh, resistance level. Yeah, the resistance level is still here. Okay, and uh, around here, yes, well, it's very near. So probably after hitting on the resistance, we may have a good chance that it will steam off and it will start to short. Okay. Right, so Euro Yen. Now talking about Euro Yen. Euro Yen, we are still on the buy side. Okay, still on the buy side. Obvious, we can see that this is the resistance very near, so probably it may break this resistance and continue for the journey of long. Okay, so buying of uh, Euro Yen is very good. Okay, it's good for buyer, not for seller. All right, Euro Kiwi, Euro Kiwi. Okay, Euro Kiwi. Well, we hit on the support and it's still on the now, it's going on the buy. On the north side, okay. Resistance level, well, still have a long way to go. 40 pips, yeah, you still have about 40 pips of space. So we have a support right now, okay. For next hour, when you have set up the support, I think it should be shooting on the north, okay. So take note of this, all right. So Euro dollar, 
Now Euro dollar. Okay, let's take a look at Euro dollar. All right, Euro dollar. Now, okay, take a look. Euro dollar still on the bull, testing on the resistance, trying to get into the bear zone and break it. But it is not now. It is still uh, on the way and uh, still not. It's still in the bull. I would say it's still in the bull. All right, so it's considered as a uh, still in a good buying state. But near, very near to the resistance, so just pay attention to buying. Okay, all right. They may have some. Then this may have some retracement before it continue the long. Okay, all right. That's for euro dollar. Okay, guys. Um. Uh, well, until here, have you subscribed to my YouTube? I'm wondering, have you subscribed to my YouTube? <laughs> yeah, that's the correct direction. You have to click on the subscribe button. Okay, so that it, the chart will go with your direction that you want <laughs> okay so now let's go okay power aussie let's take a look power aussie well power aussie we are hitting on the resistance right now h4 yes exactly we are on the resistance okay so and h1 okay we are we are meeting the resistance so likely looking at the cycle this part here is the bull where the bull is now processing of the bear okay turning down for bear market so we have to be careful as it is still turning down processing the bear we have to take note okay at this point of time any support comes along it may just push it back and break it so we still have to be very very careful with this okay power cat right power cat well it's obvious it's on the support level okay so now buying is still very strong okay buying is still very strong h4 we have uh mid oh no we met this uh we are meeting this resistance so probably they may have some retracement in this bull market okay retracement in the bull market but nevertheless i think that after a small a little support comes ag uh, along the way it will just shoot it up okay so pound cat still very it's still very good for buying. All right, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so wait for just be patient. Just be patient to wait for the support level. Wait for the price to come to the support level and bump it up again. All right. Okay, so pound franc. Let's look at pound franc. Pound franc. We are supposed to look at short position in some bear, but it has been supported for the past few days and it's not breaking up as well so it's still in the bear <laughs> so after meeting this resistance well the resistance level is here after it's trying to break out this resistance but it seems like it's coming back we have to monitor such charts okay in h1 yeah it has tried to break the resistance level but it seems like it's coming back so but it's still in the bull is it still in the bull no it's still in the bear but today has been supported so likely i think it may stay around this area okay it will not go any way high up probably okay unless uh, today this uh, high impact news for pound actually uh, impact okay affected this pound franc okay all right pound yen right 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 pound yen okay let's look at pound yen is on the bull yes still on the bull okay now we have some resistance level and it has break the resistance level okay and going up and above the resistance level is hovering around uh, no direction yet it seems like it should be going for another long position but but again but again <laughs> okay i will say that uh at this point of time is from the bull turning processing transit transform to bear and we do not know what's going to happen within this area okay this area the tree area okay so well i think i'll be patient with power yen and stay away okay so power kiwi right now looking at it is very obvious it's for a long position okay it's been supported okay so right now h4 is turning downwards for a retracement after meeting the resistance okay after meeting the resistance h1 is the same thing so likely we are going for a retracement and the trend trading because the whole trend is in the bull and h4 and h1 being the transition and the cycle has transformed to a short trying to bring the trend back to bear okay so 
a short term selling to gain some profit is possible okay but uh, in general it should be a long position for buying okay okay now let's go pound dollar yeah pound dollar let's look at it pound dollar yes uh, we are heading to the resistance level so that means we are going up again going up again h4 and h1 currently we are meeting the resistance yeah we are meeting the resistance very soon in h4 and h1 okay we still have about oh still a long way to go let me see yeah okay we are meeting the resistance over here so a minor resistance so then maybe have some retracement for short after that a support comes in and it will just shoot up okay so when it's just shoot up well it's it's not about ah am i so unlucky no the trend is already on the upward trend so it should once the support comes in okay all right so dollar cat well dollar cat is in our non-tradable zone which is in our bull transition here the bull transformation area well and the dollar franc dollar franc looks like a, a short bear market with support now so tentatively yeah it's doing the bear but it has been supported probably we have to wait for the next four hours or probably tomorrow then we'll have a good chance to trade okay all right well dollar yen and then dollar yen well dollar yen uh -huh, dollar yen <laughs> Dollar is supposed to be in the short, okay, trying to break it again, okay, with the support over here. However, it doesn't break and it comes back again and another support is coming in. Well, it's in the bear, but yet being supported. That means this bear is quite weak. Okay, it's still hibernating in the cave. All right. All right, so I hope uh, with this uh, reading of the chart, okay, with this kind of reading of the chart sharing with all of you here, I hope all of you will love this video. And when you love this video, remember to smash the subscribe button. If you don't like, then just click the like button. <laughs> okay, all right. So very, very easy. Okay, as long as you follow the rules in the trading, okay, I believe you will be able to have a clear mind and direction of where you your trade is going to be okay of course where is it going to be profitable space profitable account that is what we want it to be am i right <laughs> all right u.s market is very interesting okay uh, but tonight we have a pound okay looking at this uh, tonight we have a pound high impact news okay that is uh, talking about boe okay Government Bailey speaks, so please, please, okay. Gulf Valley, uh, Gulf Valley is going to speak, so please, okay, be very careful. Uh, at this, uh, GMT plus, uh, so take note, be sure that you avoid trading during this period of time in case unforeseen circumstances may kick in and it may go the opposite directions all right okay so i shall stop here and thank you for watching my video coming in again every day i will say have a great day